okay uh, so we will see some topics today okay uh, two things uh, we will cover right uh, one is a pojo class okay and uh, next one is right uh, we will see the uh, we will see pojo right pojo class then we will see right how to uh, create a future file right from future file right uh, how to create from a future we will same bdd kokumba uh, right we will connect uh, with the bdd kokumba then we will see some basic uh, methods right for api uh, the uh, right uh, api in case and part we'll see right i will see assert conditions we'll see okay assert right uh, assert dot right we use to do in selenium right assert dot assert equals checking the expected result and actual result we'll see that one okay and uh, then the right uh, uh, test and assert also okay so we'll see right so uh, this is the plan today okay so this is what we are going to cover uh, then we'll see how it goes, right? Then we'll see what is next. We'll see. First, we'll start with the Pojo class, okay? Okay, uh, uh, right? You go, go to, uh, right? You go and create a new class. Okay, so post Pojo class, right? So uh, last time we saw, right, keeping, uh, right? Um, you are uh, right, this uh, you are uh, right. We saw in different ways, right? Keeping the body in a right JSON object, we pass to a H uh, like payloads, we pass right, and uh, then we pass with the JSON object cache map. We pass so this is also one way, right? Passing your body, okay? So we are creating right a post class, right? For first, we'll create for the post method, okay? Now, right. Uh, we'll uh, initialize what are the right the body which you are going to pass right so title body and author we are going to pass now first we'll take title we'll give string private string title okay. title then we'll give pri private right body a string body then we'll give private string author. From this, uh, our Eclipse has a default, right? We can generate the getter and setter, uh, right, methods to Eclipse, okay? So the, okay, you right click, okay? Then you go there, okay, there, you go there, so the, uh, source, right, you go to source, okay, then you have, right, Getter generate getters and setters, right? You have uh, generate getters and setters. So our Eclipse itself will uh, generate your getter and setter. Now you can be right. Ah, uh, it will ask right. What are the right request you are to it? Then it will see default is generate the your getter and setter will be generated by default to the uh, right uh, through your uh, Eclipse itself. Uh, right, Eclipse has the uh, like facility of generating your getter and setter. Okay, so this is one way we can uh, do that. Okay, now you create a new class, another class. Where we give our key value pair, right? So we we'll inside our key value pair there. Then call to our script. You create one. Uh, So first we'll go for the post one, okay? So we'll pass a body here, okay? The public void post method. Now right so we will give the class now what we uh, did it right post pojo. Uh, 
so that is a package thing i think post body is your uh, okay need on object there post body semicolon okay then post dot right says author okay and you give a value here right and next one is post dot set body okay and you give a body here Okay, so we are we are just passing the body here. This is also one way of doing. Like we saw in a different way, right? This is also one way of doing. Okay, so all right. Uh, so next, right? Uh, you return this one. Okay. Now we'll go to the action code. We'll return this one. Okay. It returns a post, right? So post body, right? So we have to change that one. Then we'll go to the action code now. to create a class now post all right okay. so now right we will uh, we'll create our access code now okay public void test by uh, public void right post Post give and now we'll write our code right. Rest assured dot. I will call the class now. We'll create an object there. Post equal to. Now instead of post, you give some other name. So we create an object now. Okay. Then rest assured. Same thing what we discussed today. Right? Base you are right. Equal to that uh, right endpoint right. Whatever endpoint you are going to that we do in there. So HTTP HTTP change to automation dot com. The endpoint will pass there. Okay, now we'll give the base path also. Rest assured, dot base path. Okay, so if you see right, if you go to the endpoint, so what will be the base path is okay. That API will be the base path. Okay, so API will be the base path for this, right? So we give the base path there. So for all right, API is a common right. So there, there. So base path will be API. So we'll give AP there. Next, we'll go and write our right. Rest assured, dot given. Okay. Then a log all. Okay. Then uh, we'll. Okay. Then we'll see the content type. Content dot JSON. Okay. Then we'll see the pass the body there. Okay, post right. So we are post uh, PS. Yeah. Okay. So we are for just passing the body there. Okay. For PS when dot. Okay. Then post. Then we'll pass the. Alright. The our resource there. Okay. Delete dot PS. Yeah. So here, since we are creating post, we give insert dot PS. Then log all. Okay. So next we we will get the status code. Okay. So this will run. Okay. Then we will see what next. Okay. Okay, so now uh, see what's the uh, problem is right? So we are just converting as a string. Okay, so you got an error, right? So cannot see this an object because of this JSON see this uh, found in class path. Okay, so please put JSON data bind JSON, right? So what happens means we should 
had one dependency here. Okay, this and dependency. Yesterday we added one dependency, right? So we should add one dependency here. Okay, the JSON should be converted as a string, right? So for that we should add the dependency there. Okay, so can you go there and take that? Yeah. So this is the dependency we have to add it. Okay, so you uncomment that one. Okay, update the project. Now you run the same code. Okay, now right, you got the um, what you got. Okay, please fill all the details. Type in body. That method, right? We didn't uh, call it there. Go and show the method. Wait, wait. Go and show the method. Go and show the method. No? Uh, this method you have to call no post method. Okay. Uh, now run the code. Uh, now you got right body type in automation training body training and author you got. And you got the message data inserted successfully. Okay, so this also you got it. Okay, so and you got the, the run also. Okay, now what we'll do is okay, uh, same thing. Okay, now same thing we'll do with the JSON path. The same thing we'll do with the JSON path. Now at last we'll go for the future file. First we'll finish the here itself. Okay. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll mm, pass with the JSON part. So we, what we do is we are just going to assert the message, right? So right, there are two ways we can do, right? One is right. Normally in our test and GV, right, we give assert dot assert equals and compare expected and actual, right? So there are two ways we can do either in a, a test and GV, okay, or you can with a JSON path you can find, right? That can be find. Okay, so this is a message, right? Data inserted successfully. This we are going to compare our expected and our actual here. Okay. String message equal to JSON dot string message. Okay. Assert dot assert equals right. Okay. So the same thing, right? We are going to compare our uh, right message, right? It's okay with the actual and the expected here. Okay, then copy the, the postman the uh, data inserted successfully and it's going to check the expected and actual there. Okay, can you run it now? Okay. Now we can see, right, it's passed, right? Can you change the message and see? And you can you make it fail and you, you try? Okay, you, you took the IN now, then we'll run the code now. Okay. 
okay now it's paid right so expected and action is not same so it's paid right expected is data uh, inserted successfully whereas uh, action is right uh, right inserted successfully so it's expected and action is not same so this is one way can we try with the other way right with the assert condition right assert I to assert that method, okay, so we will give that. Body will pass the expected and actual test. Okay, for that we should do one thing, okay. We have to give equal to, okay, uh, but uh, right, uh, your rest assured does not have this package, right. For that, we should write the package, the static package. We should write directly, okay, import static, I org dot anchors dot matches okay, dot star, okay. So it's a static, right? We should, uh, in turn, the Eclipse app don't have the right, uh, right facility to uh, right, uh, import it. So we have to explicitly write that uh, right package. Remove the star. I think you have given the star. Okay. Now we'll give the expected and actual here. Okay. So the message and we'll give the expected result right data inserted successfully is our expert so these are two ways we can give okay either this way or that way we can compare our expected and actual here okay okay wonderful It passed right, so data inserted successfully passed. Okay, so it compared right. So this is also one way directly we can write. Okay, so these are two ways, right? We can use a test and the assertion also. Okay. Okay, we change now, right? Successfully, why you took. And it showed expected is this one and actual is this one. Okay, so you can log this also. We saw a logger, right? That's a logging results we saw. So we can log this results also. Okay, and see, right? So we can see in our logger also. We can get so both also we can try. Now, right, uh, what we'll do is we'll try with a future file. We all know, we all learned, right, Cucumber future file, right, creating future file and step definition and runner file. Uh, we all learned, right? So now I will see that one, right, how to uh, uh, run the same thing with, uh, with the help of your BDD and Cucumber, right? So now uh, can we create a, go there in our project, create a future file? Okay, and we'll add our future file also. Resources. Resources dot future. As you all know, right, we should install the Cucumber uh, 
uh, right uh, plugin and natural plugin right uh, which we normally do okay so make sure you are adding the cucumber plugin there okay okay you should go to help marketplace right we used to install the cucumber right so make sure you are doing the eclipse marketplace right uh, you all know right you all uh, uh, experts in selenium right you should make sure you go there and type cucumber and install the plugin can you type cucumber cucumber right okay so you should install make sure you installing this uh, uh, cucumber right like eclipse plugin for your feature file it's already installed but uh, when you are so like suppose right you are a new to cucumber you are not installed cucumber make sure that you are installing this plugin okay now we will write our feature file now same thing which we learned in our selenium right Just the space between colon and colon. Here also uh, we can pass scenario outline also that we'll see next. Okay, uh, in data driven we'll see first we'll uh, see the basic one to validate the post method. Okay, then we can give our uh, keywords right. Uh, give and when then uh, we can give here. you can give base url and uh, api also path also but base url and path base uri and path then what we do is we'll call the photo class okay validate the response okay so this is the same thing right uh, we used to give right we launch the url in selenium you learned right launch the url right enter username and password click submit button uh, close the browser we used to write right the same way here right uh, your scenario is validate the post method given is initialize the base uri and the base path okay then call the pojo class okay in the pojo class in the getter and setter we have this right for body we posted right so that we we'll call the post class okay now get the response for the post uh, right for the post method then validate the response using the json path okay so uh, so this is the uh, right steps which we are going to use now we'll create the method you all know the methods right how to create uh, the method right either we can do with the tidy jerkin or here itself we can give okay so now we'll create our step definition package same thing which we learned okay step definition okay if you run this uh, right feature file uh, you will get a methods right then we'll run the uh, post step definition four steps we'll do then we'll create a runner file same thing we'll create a runner file also You create a runner file, okay? A runner class, sorry, not a runner file, runner class we created, okay? Then what we'll do is we'll go to the feature file and we'll generate the methods, okay? Uh, you know, no, right? we can generate to tidy jerkin also. Here, this is also one way, okay? So, generate when you click uh, run as cucumber feature and it will generate the method. Uh, cucumber uh, form.xml is having some problem.
we go you should go there and uh, write uh, copy the dependent number jvm java okay, we are going to use the io package And after adding, you should update the project as usual, normal step. <coughs> Make sure you are updating the project. Now we'll send it the methods okay, to the future file. Okay, we got the methods, right? Same thing, right? What we learned in Selenium, say same thing. Okay. We'll go there. Copy paste the method. Remove the uh, right the garbage steps and import the packages. Same thing, what? Can you go to the future file one minute? I think he didn't give when. He gave only then. Can you? Uh, no, no, no need. No need. Uh, no need, no need, no need. He didn't give when. He gave only then. Okay, fine. Okay, go to. You can. You can continue right. Okay. So what we did is we initialize the. URI and the base path now. Okay, then we'll call the Pojo class. Okay, by creating the object, right? Same thing we saw in the last uh, right class, right? Okay. Now we'll call the Pojo class, right?
now main layer log and let me give log all okay we'll give the content type content type dot json same thing guys right just we are just uh, passing the step definition file what snap what what topic which we saw same thing same code then we will change anything just we are using the future file and we are running okay so it has lot of features right we can send this reports here right pass data driven you know the uh, future uses right of the token right so we can uh, generate reports like excel report alu report right uh, some multiple uh, scenarios we can pass right outline right parallel execution we can see so there are a lot of advantages right so that's why we go for this cucumber extract response okay now right we validate the response now, okay with the help of right assert condition Okay, JSON dot dot get message get string message right. Master dot master dot assert equals you will compare the expected and actual same thing right. So same code which we pass now to the future step of which is right now. Expected. So we we'll copy from the postman data inserted successfully. And you all know that config property file, right? We can pass there also, right? Maybe later, you can in your project, you can try, right? We can pass in the uh, right, config property file and you can set it expected and actual, right? There's a space, remove the space in the expected message. Okay, now, uh, now we can run the code. Okay, we got the message right. Data inserted successfully. Uh, uh, post condition pass. We can log the results also. We learned like log 4j immediate, okay? So that also we can do it's everything, right? That's what uh, I should connect everything in the framework, right? So config property or log 4j, right? So, so uh, right, it's our uh, role, right? To connect everything in the framework in our project and we should do it, okay? So we got the post validation fast, right? Now, uh, same thing now we can do for the other food, uh, delete, right? Uh, so for the other, uh, right, methods also we can do. 
okay same thing what we should do is we should go to the feature file and uh, create uh, right uh, create a method right uh, create another scenario like right? validate the put method or validate the delete method or validate the get method we can write other scenarios and same thing we can uh, we can create a class on call from the pojo class which we have okay so this uh, this is uh, what we should do extend uh, the uh, uh, right uh, the framework right so we should extend the framework by writing other scenarios also okay so this is one way and uh, right uh, we can run the through the runner class also yeah that is the same thing right runner was yeah cucumber dot class You know, you should down write cucumber options. You should write. You have a runner class, right? Can you if you see that copy and paste? Now, same thing, right? Same thing which we use, right? So for J init, you need, no need, you should use a run with, right? And for test and G, no need of a run with. Same thing which we saw in our uh, Selenium learning, right? Same, uh, same logic, right? So cucumber options, okay? I think uh, remove the bracket. Huh? Then you should give the plugins. Copy and paste. First, you import cucumber options. Can you? Uh, I think you are running with JUnit, but you imported test and G. That's a problem. Your cucumber options you are imported with uh, test and Swift line you are imported package with test and Ah, change it to that one. I will go cucumber. No, no, this is not the right package. So we lack cucumber chain, right? Chain your dependency in the box. And the library. First import cucumber option. And then you import that one. If not, you type it. Now we'll give the plugins, right? What future file I think. No, no, future file, future.
uh, will give the what is the feature file. Go there and copy the copy to the qualified file. So always the best way to uh, give the uh, right path is you to call the, from the copy qualified part. Then we'll uh, we'll just tell the what is a uh, step definition file which we are running. Okay. Step definition. Step definition. No, you give a package name. You give the package. Now, right, uh, if you want to generate reports, right, so we'll give the what report you want, like suppose like Cucumber HTML report or Excel report, right, what report we want, we'll give that report, okay. So you copy the plugin and paste it. Uh, for that Kukumar Excel report, we should add the Excel report adapter in the form.xml. Now, we'll, first we'll generate the Kukumar HTML report. Then we'll see the other report. Okay, we'll go one by one. Okay, now you we can run the runner file through the runner file. We'll run it. Okay. So always a runner file you keep in a separate package. Okay. Now you run the run the class. Okay. So as I told you, you can run either with JUnit or TestNG. Okay. So first we'll run with the JUnit, then we'll run, we'll show you how to run with the TestNG also. Right click and run from the runner file. Or you can run. The reports folder is report folder you are giving and giving the path of the report folder. Check the reports folder, the path, right? Uh, SRC test resources, right? Reports, reports. Now we we'll run with the
Okay, you run the class now. Yeah, run with the run the class. Now proceed. Okay, so you got the body and you got right. So the post validation pass you message also you got. Okay. So the remaining uh, we'll see in the next session. Okay, so remaining we'll see how to write scenario outline, how to generate reports, okay, uh, how to do data driven testing, passing with multiple data providers, parameters, uh, in future file, everything we'll see in the next session and also generating reports. So everything we'll going to see in the next step. Thank you.